if you're looking for a glass cannon paladin build then look elsewhere because this build face tanks mini bosses and goes toe to toe with them this is also beginner friendly enough to tank lag on lasers in monoliths give you the sweet feeling of culling enemies at 15 percent health and below and still has a good amount of clear to not feel like you're playing a zdps build so if you're still here and you're curious about the build don't worry it is just as straightforward as the game itself so for those of you who have not heard or just looked up the sentinel um there are a lot of passives in the sentinel that give you a lot of defense immediately and that's basically what i went with during the first you know couple levels since i wasn't sure how durable the sentinel was going to be i mean i know it's i know i know that last epoch is not path of exile that's one thing but i still wanted to be sure so that was what i was doing most of the time you know just really just going for all of these Passive skills that go for durability. So as you can see here, Faith Armor is maxed out. I went for a good amount of Prayer Aegis. I maxed out Holy Icon. Basically anything that would give me health, resistances, and some healing effectiveness so that our leech would be better, our quality of life would be good, you know, cooldown recovery, all of that. That was really all I've been to, you know. Extra passives I've been putting into Forge Guard. I'm still experimenting on it, you know. This build is still far from min max, so it's really great because it's already working out and there's so much room for improvement. And then when it comes to the gear, the gear is basically the same as well. I mean, you can't see all of the stats working right now because we're still inside the town, but Holy Aura bumps up your resistances even more and it max out the poison res, so that's where we get most of that. And you know, gear was basically anything I could find since I am on solo account found i managed to get a nice cradle of the erased so i'm thinking if you don't have something like this maybe a good shield with uh high physical damage or you know maybe just a good amount of block chance and health whatever resistances you'll need because i mean you can easily replace this but i like the physical damage same goes for the amulet you know everything here is just basic just basic stuff that works and that's what I love about it. You just pick things up and you can keep on progressing. You know, it doesn't take it doesn't take you a precise amount of things to do. You know, you could just literally keep on running and keep on playing. It's so fun. I mean, this is a breath of fresh air compared to Path of Exile. <laughs> you know, I've been playing the game for so long. And it literally is not Path of Exile. I just cannot stress it enough. People play Last Epoch like you still have to build glass cannon builds that do tons of damage. And yeah, sure, you can do that, but... I mean, this has just been so far. For the skills, though, uh, we are going with Rive. Rive, a very nice and comfortable combination of um, killing enemies instantly, including bosses with coup de gras, giving you a 15% uh, culling strike. Plus, you have Massacre here, which allows you to detonate enemies by chance, so, you know... That's basically nice corpse explosions, so to speak. And then for the unique mechanic here uh, that I went for, I went for scrap metal so that, you know, you get more drive damage per scrap metal, which is the uh, forged weapons. So instead of summoning these weapons, you end up having stacks of scrap metal. And you can drop scrap metal if you want to and boat cleaver. That gives you two more points which you can dedicate to somewhere else on the tree. Perfectly fine. Then Judgment, I went with Judgment because, you know, it gives you an AoE heal and I prioritized increasing the damage against high health enemies and against rares and bosses so that, you know, we have a good punch against rares and bosses as we're fighting them since Rive is pretty good for clearing and good for culling but we're gonna need a little bit more of support to, you know, make sure that we can do at least a comfortable amount of DPS. That's basically it, you know, there's, like I said, it's just so straightforward. Holy Aura, you know, I just went for Purification, cleanses ailments, so anything that is affecting you, Armor Shred, you know, Poison Shred, what have you, if you activate Holy Aura, it takes it all off, so you can use that and just run away, and then I have maxed out Call to Arms, maxed out Fanaticism, so we have more attack speed and damage overall, and then again, more Elemental Resistances, Block Effectiveness, you know, nothing too, too complex, it's just so convenient. Sigils of Hope. Uh, we are specialized in getting the chance to summon Sigil on kill so that we don't need to keep on summoning it if we're just clearing maps. And then 
we have a word of power here so that we have a good amount of extra physical damage while we're using it. And then I went with Polygram so that we could get more sigils instead of going with Tetragram. I mean, you could go with Tetragram if you want to, but I went for the mana efficiency so that I can at least quickly cast all of them. And uh, one of the great mechanics here is also Faith, where if you have some sigils of hope up and you get a savage hit, or what I call a savage hit, as long as it, you know, like takes off a good chunk of your health uh, over here, or is that? Yeah, health threshold. If you take half or like one quarter of your health, you will sacrifice one of your sigils of hope to heal you automatically. Really nice, very convenient. And then lunge is just our mobility and utility skill. You know, just make yourself invulnerable while you're lunging. And then, you know, just basically increasing your damage, increasing the cooldown recovery, and then that's it. That's all it is to the build. It's so fun to use. So, you know, I mean, if you guys want to test it out, please do. I've had so much fun with it. I'm at level 75 now, hardcore mode. As a dedicated Path of Exile player who's played softcore trade league, this has been such an experience. I have been having so much fun with the build. And I am actually going to wait until, you know, what the patch notes in Path of Exile are going to be. And if they're not going to be... Uh, sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> if they're not going to be as interesting as I think they'll be, then I'm just going to keep on playing Last Epoch. That's it. That's all there is to it, guys.